Gender, Disability, and Development Institute, GDDI, August 19th through 22nd, 2013. 21 women with disabilities representing 21 countries and 18 professionals representing international development and donor agencies gathered for the 2013 Gender, Disability, and Development Institute. During the four-day retreat, participants engaged in face-to-face -face dialogue about including women and girls with disabilities in development and humanitarian projects around the world. Topics included emergency response, economic empowerment, education, reproductive health, and HIV AIDS and violence prevention. Why was it important for Counterpart International to participate in GDDI? Um, Counterpart has, uh, is very committed to gender mainstreaming and we incorporate gender in all our programs. So one of the other things we want to do within that line is incorporate gender and disability within all our programs and to figure out how to do that. What has made the most impact on you here at GDDI? Um, I would say two things. I've learned about the movement. Um, I've learned about the challenges that especially women with disabilities face at the country level. Um, I've learned about strategies to overcome some of those challenges. But I've also learned practical ideas that Counterpart and other organizations can use to incorporate women with disabilities or um, inclusive development. And I've learned some new jargon too. What was something specific you learned at GDDI? I've learned about reasonable accommodations. Um, that's including like three to five percent within your budget, a line item specifically for anything to do with disability, whether it's interpreters, ramps, just to help your programming and your activities be accessible to people with disabilities. Is disability inclusion part of your strategy? Stay tuned for the full-length version of this video coming in the next few weeks. Subscribe to my use's YouTube channel, MIUSA 1981. Thank you to all the organizations who have participated in GDDI over the years. Your commitment to inclusion is exemplary and is changing the lives of disabled women and girls worldwide. Action International, American Friends Service Committee, American Jewish World Service, Association for Women's Rights and Development, CBM, Channel Foundation, Kimonix, Counterpart International, Disability Rights Fund, Global Fund for Women, Handicap International, Hesperian Health Guides, Holt International, Interaction, International Development Exchange, International Foundation for Electoral Systems, International Labor Organization, International Research and Exchanges Board, IntraHealth, Management Sciences for Development, Management Sciences for Health, Mama Cash, Mercy Corps, National Democratic Institute, Pact International, Rehabilitation International, Relief International, Resurge International, Rotary International, Trickle Up, U.S. Agency for International Development, U.S. Department of State, U.S. International Council on Disabilities, Women's Refugee Commission, World Learning, World Vision. www.miusa.org